Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Tim and welcome to Simple Tech Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing my current headphones, the Bluteo Faith 2 ANC wireless headphones and find out if they sound as good as they look. Oh, and by the way, please forgive my voice. I'm currently recovering from the flu, but I still want to get some content to you all. So, without further ado, let's get it. So by now, you may notice a trend developing with my review process as this is based on all or a combination of these pillars. Presentation, aesthetics, usability, affordability, and is it as promised. If you are familiar with the Bluteo brand, you know that their presentation is second to none. And just like in my Bluteo T3 video, this presentation does not disappoint. I like to call it the Bluteo black box treatment. The black box treatment begins with a classy matte black outer sleeve that offers a first look at the product and gives you a generous amount of branding and product information, while at the same time not being too busy. Of course, the sleeve slides off to reveal a premium filling, magnetically collapsed black box. I really like these boxes because they can be used for many things after you remove the product. Once open, you see a very nice black headphone carrying case. Finally, the carrying case opens to reveal the headphones, cable management bag, as well as a carabiner clip. Now when it comes to selecting products I'll be using with my setup, if they're not RGB, I tend to go for either black or white. And while the Faith 2's offer a black and silver color combination, much like the T3's, when I saw the white and tan option, I was instantly sold. These are one of the nicest pair of headphones I've seen. The build is made up of Bluteo Signature, Premium, Alloy, and Polymers, and the ear cups have a welcome oval shaped design that should fit around most ears. The ear cups, as well as the headband, are encased in super soft protein memory foam wrapped in sleek, leathery vinyl type material. Staying true to form, the headband carries a series name, which in this case is Faith, and who couldn't use just a little more Faith nowadays? The only area you will find plastic is on the white ear cup caps. However, I think this is a plus as it makes it easier for them to be clean. Above the left ear cup on the hinge, you find a small Faith logo, and above the right ear cup, you see a Vector Flow Technology logo. Again, I must say that these have got to be one of the nicest pair of headphones I've seen, period. And by the way, the carrying case in my Foster Carter voice is a go. It is black and has a black embedded Bluteo logo that doesn't ask for attention, which to me is very stylish, and the red zipper gives it just the right amount of color. These headphones offer a 180 degree rotating hinge that allows for adjustments from left to right, and a swivel hinge which allows for adjustments up and down to give you a custom fit. All of the buttons are located on the right ear cup, which includes volume up, next track, volume down, previous track, charging connector, audio jack, microphone, multifunction button, along with the ANC switch and indicator. Bluteo has added a unique feature for these headphones called Vector Flow Technology, in which a ventilated back chamber in each ear cup of the headphones can push air out and equalize air pressure on both sides of the headphones, resulting in enhanced bass reproduction and an amazing sound stage. The 57mm drivers, along with the Vector Flow technology, offers a great listening experience. While the bass is very present, it is not overpowering and gives a more refined presence. The mids and highs are defined and clean with no tingly sound at the very top. Now when it comes to the ANC, I would say it's a personal preference. I've seen reviews where some praise it and I've seen other reviews where they say it's a miss for Bluteo. I personally believe it's great in certain settings with certain music and not so good in other settings with other music. For example, I don't think it works well with bass heavy music like rap, dubstep or techno because of the distance between the highs and the lows and the amount of compression it takes to bring them together. But it works great with music that's not so bass heavy like praise and worship, chill hop and jazz because the range between the highs and the lows are as far away from each other. Now as for the other stats. They're on your screen now, so feel free to pause the video and review. 
Look, I'm not an audiophile by any means, but I do know what I like and I really like these headphones. Now would I compare them to the Bose Quiet Comfort 35s? Of course not, but at the same time, the Bose QCs cost over $350, while at the time of this video, the Bluteo Fave 2s are going for $65. But I will say that even at $65, the Faith 2s have a better build quality and a far more premium look and feel than $350 Bose QCs. And if I were to spend over $300 for a pair of headphones, I would want them to look as good as they sound. Now I believe that Blue Dio has severely undercut themselves with this price because these could easily compete with headphones ranging between $100 and $150. So at $65, these are a steal, and you will be hard pressed to find a more refined looking and sounding headset at this price range. They look good, they sound good, and they feel good. So they check off all my boxes. The ear cups, as well as the headband, are very plush and comfortable, so you won't experience listening fatigue. They are charged via USB-C, which means that you won't have to worry about carrying multiple charging cables around, as most smartphones are moving to this format. A USB-C, to 3.5 millimeter aux cable, a nice carrying case, and a clip are provided for you. These headphones live up to Blue Dio's claim, and they are as promised. Well, this has been my review of the Blue Dio Faith 2 ANC wireless headphones. If you have any questions about the product or like what you saw, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos. Well, this has been Tim with Simple Tech Review, and we'll see you next time.